position and some players are vying for their place in history, the specter of a strike hovers over baseball's magic kingdom. And there's an irony at work here. Roger Maris may have his 61 and 61 home run record saved by a season that will be scarred with asterisks if baseball is struck in a dozen days. Matt Williams has already broken the Giants' home run record for third baseman, 38. It was his own record anyway, and he set it last year. He's on a pace to break the franchise record of 52 home runs set by Willie Mays in 1965. But Williams is also on a pace to challenge Roger Maris. Williams has been a model of consistency this season, and all he would have to do is maintain his pace down the stretch to tie or break the Maris record, unless there is a strike. In Houston, Jeff Bagwell currently leads the league in RBIs. He's second in home runs and second in batting average. Bagwell also happens to lead the league in runs scored. No player in the history of the Astros franchise, not Rusty Staub, not Bob Watson, not even the toy cannon Jimmy Wynn, has ever led the league in any triple crown category. But Bagwell's on a pace to do just that, unless there is a strike. Only Tony Gwynn has a higher batting average than Bagwell. Gwynn, who's a lock to hit over 300 for his 12th consecutive season, is having the best year of his career. And Gwynn is on a pace to join some rather exclusive company for having the highest batting average in Major League Baseball over the past 53 years or since Ted Williams last hit over 400. Unless there is a strike. And Greg Maddox, one of just five pitchers in history to win consecutive Cy Young awards, has the inside track on becoming the first to three-peat. Over the past six seasons, Maddox has led all pitchers in the majors in wins, games started, and innings pitched. And his ERA this season is more than a run better than any other starter in the bigs, and he's on a pace to become the first pitcher since Dwight Gooden and John Tudor nine years ago to finish the season with an ERA of under two. Maddox's numbers will certainly stand up, but along with them, an all-too-familiar asterisk, if there is a strike.